Hello again, boys and girls, and welcome back to Color Carpet Time Part 2. Now we're going to read again from Baby Birds Grow Up. It's your read on your own, book 14. We are going to go uh, ahead past this story that we read. We read the flamingos a few days ago. We're going past that, but I wanted to look at those flamingo pictures again. All right, now we're going ahead right here uh, on page 12 and 13. We have our endings with ED and ING. And if we look close, you can see how the words change when you add endings. So here's flip. See there, she's uh, doing a flip. When you add an ED to make it flipped, you add an extra P. Do you see the little duck, Mrs. Duck, putting the P in there? And it becomes flipped. Yep. Now, smile has an E at the end, but when we add the ED to make it smiled, we take that out. There's Mrs. Duck taking that E out. Swimming, we add another M. There's Mrs. Duck adding another M to make it swimming. And racing, we take out an E to make it look like this. R-A-C-I-N-G, racing. So here's some E-D endings. Here's some I-N-G endings. And you see that sometimes you add another letter. Sometimes you take a letter out. See, the E's are getting taken out. And the consonants, M and P, we're adding another one. Okay, let's take a look. And our story for today, this is called Two Little Ducks. It's by Salim Aziz, illustrated by Paul Eric Roca. Let's take a look what goes on with our two little ducks. If you have this book, um, you can read along or you can follow along on the screen. Here we go. It was time for a swim. Two ducks ran over the hill. Quack, quack, quack. Boy, I bet you Mrs. Duck would love this story. Little feet slap, slap, slapped. Little wings flap, flap, flapped. They jumped in the lake. Ooh, look at this. What's happening here? The ducks bobbed around. They flapped their feet. A duck needs both feet for swimming. And there's our ing, huh? Now, bobbed, this word, we might not know what that means, but let's look at the context clues. Those are the words that are around it. The ducks mm, around, huh? What might that mean? Well, bobbed is kind of like, it's like floating, kind of going up and down on the water a little bit. If anybody's been fishing, you might have a little, a little thing that, that floats on the top of the water as your line goes down. Uh, a bobber, right? And so this is bobbed, so it kind of bounces up and down. They looked for a fish to catch. A fish swam by. One duck tipped its body in. And there it is. It's tipped its body in. So not all the way in, just part of it. Uh-oh, look at that. What do we have here? Swish! His tail flipped up. He got all wet. He trapped the fish. The little ducks flapped in the sun. The mother duck looked on. Quack, quack, quack. Let's get another picture. There's mother duck. There she is. And it was time to go. Slap, slap, slap. The ducks ran up the hill. Going to join mom. Now, did you find any words with E-D or I-N-G in that story? If you did, please send them to me. If you found any a long I or short I, maybe one was in there. You can send those to me as well. Here are some examples. We have swimming, there's the I-N-G. Taking, jumped, hiding, jumping flapped, waited, and stepped. Here's an example of a sentence that they have. A duck stepped in the pond. A frog is swimming in the pond. Okay. Now, one of the cool things about these books is at the end, 
a lot of times they have a little review that is also um, a game. And so this one, you look at the pictures with somebody, take turns reading the clues, and then you're going to find the answers in the picture. So, for example, find both of the men. Find both of the men. So you look at the picture and find both of the men. I see one right here fishing. Oh, and look at there's a bobber. But here's a man fishing. Ah, and here's the other one. I found both of them. Now, there's other uh, clues here. Find two kinds of white birds. Find five ducks flying over the pond. Find the bird standing on one leg. Find the frog swimming in the pond. Find rocks piled in the pond. All right, boys and girls. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is part two of Color Carpet Time for today. Uh, please, please go back and reread this story on your own. The more reading you get in, the better. And I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.